And we don't say this often, but Joe's right. It doesn't look like he's calling any of the shots. Simple tasks like taking questions from reporters have become an all-hands-on-deck scenario for the White House. And it doesn't happen often. But when Joe does take questions, well, he relies on those trusty note cards for help. Um, uh, I can't have trouble reading this. Reuters, uh, the tangent about both. Reuters. And it's one thing to have a pre-approved list of reporters. But yesterday, Joe got caught red-handed with a cheat sheet, and this time, it had reporters' questions right smack dab in the middle of it, specific questions. And if you can make that out right there, you probably can't. It says the L.A. Times would ask, quote, how are you squaring your domestic priorities like reshoring semiconductors manufacturing with alliance-based foreign policies? There's a picture right there of the reporter. This very same L.A. Times reporter just happened to ask a eerily similar question. Now we're going to take some questions. The first question is from Courtney of the Los Angeles Times. Thank you, Mr. President. Your top economic priority has been to build up U.S. domestic manufacturing in competition with China. But your rules against expanding chip manufacturing in China is hurting South Korean companies that rely heavily on Beijing. Are you damaging a key ally in the competition with China to help your domestic politics ahead of the election. No, they were both reading the same White House approved question off the paper. Now, are we just imagining things or did the LA Times give the President of the United States a question ahead of time? Can't be. That's not just something a journalist would do, right? Well, luckily for us, the LA Times quickly cleared up the record. They're right there in black and white, saying our reporter did not submit any questions in advance of the Q&A with President Biden. You would have to ask the White House who prepared the document for the president and why they included that question. Well, we did ask the White House, and they did not have much of a response either. Look, we, we do not have specific questions in advance. That's not something that we do. And in fact, I would point out the questions that was asked was different uh, than what was on the card that uh, you all saw. <laughs> do not believe what's right before your eyes. Not specific? Oh, so general concepts instead. That sounds like a bit of a stretch there, Binder. The question was the same. Rephrase slightly to look a little bit different right there on the card. But I guess you'll say anything when you've just been caught pretty much literally in bed with the media. The White House knows the president taking pre-approved questions is a big no-no. So now they're lying. And the rest of the media is acting like all of this is normal. For that, they can always rely on trusty old CNN. We have seen the president in the past carrying around these note, note cards with details about the events, where he needs to go, the people that he's meeting with. Now, this, these types of moments are things that Republicans have seized on, especially as they tr have tried to highlight President Biden's age. Oh, we've seen this in the past. Just how business is done. You know what's bad when they start deflecting like that. Now that Joe's officially made his 2024 bid, the media is putting back on their kid gloves for him. They're going to try to save him since he can't save himself. They know he won't win if he doesn't answer any questions. So what's the solution? Just give him the questions ahead of time. Then lie about it when you get caught. You start doing that with basic Q&As, then what's next? Is the media going to, I don't know, give his campaign questions ahead of the debates too? Where have we seen that before? We just hope the White House doesn't start asking third graders to submit their questions too. But I guess at this point, nothing really surprises us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.